Sergeants, please resume the recordings. Our recording started. Okay. Good morning and welcome to the remote city council hearing on small business. We ask that all council members please turn on their video for verification purposes. Please place all cell phones to vibrate or silent. Chair Jonah, we are ready to begin. Good morning. I'm Councilmember Mark Joan. I chair of the Committee on Small Business, and I'd like to welcome you to our remote vote today on proposed introduction 2083A. The COVID-19 crisis presents the greatest threat to small business economy in modern history. According to a recent report by the city comptroller, small business revenues shaved dropped 25% since January, ranking New York City 40th amongst the 52 largest American cities during this period. In early April, small businesses had experienced a drop in revenue of over 60%. As small businesses are experiencing massive declines in revenue, thousands of small businesses have closed in New York. According to the City Controller Report, at least 2,800 small businesses closed permanently between March 1st and July 10th. Partnership in New York City predicts that as many as a third of the 230,000 small businesses in New York City may never reopen, forever changing the commercial corridors that make up our neighborhoods. A small business, as small businesses are experiencing declines in revenue, many small businesses have been unable to pay rent. The Hospitality Alliance surveyed restaurants, bars, nightclubs, and event venues in late August and in early September and found that 87% of respondents did not pay their full August rent. I want to emphasize that many landlords in this city are hopefully renegotiating their leases with their tenants in good faith. Some small business owners may fear, however, that their inability to pay rent may lead their landlords to go after their assets or personal property. This past spring, the council boldly acted to prevent this through the passage of Local Law 55, which temporarily prohibited the enforcement of personal liability provisions in some commercial leases. The proposed introduction we'll be voting on today will extend this necessary bill until March 31st, 2020. Proposed introduction 2083 will also mandate Department of Small Business Services or another agency designated by the mayor to conduct an information and outreach campaign to educate commercial tenants affected by this law about its protections, which I hope will, will also take into consideration the language barrier and various businesses throughout the city the mass closures of city small business will leave commercial corridors decimated and unemployment rates high. As the chair of the Committee of Small Business, it is my priority to ensure our small business sector will reemerge strong after COVID-19 crisis is over. This is about survival so that they can thrive later. I'm proud of the work of this committee in fighting them to protect the support and the city's mom and pop shops are micro businesses. With that said, I'd like to thank my chief of staff, Reggie Johnson, our senior legislative counsel, Christopher Soratori, our policy analyst, Noah Mexler, and financial analyst, Aliyah Ali, for their hard work in preparing for this hearing. I want to recognize that we've been joined by Council Members Perkins, Council Member Rosenthal, and Council Member Levin. And I hope I didn't miss anyone. I want to turn it over to William Martin for roll call and vote. Good morning. William Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Small Business, Introduction 2083-A, Chair Jonai. I vote aye. Levin. I vote aye. Thank you. 
Rosenthal. I vote aye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Perkins. I vote aye. I vote aye. Thank you. Yes. By a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the item has been adopted by the committee. Well, I thank you all. This will end our hearing.